Good evening, everyone. And with grace and gratitude and humility. Uh, I'm Christina and Othello is with me and this is welcome to Othello.org. This is our first live streaming and uh, really proud, really happy that I can um, say I'm, I'm live streaming here from our sanctuary in the Yucatan Peninsula. And um, what a kickoff. We have some great questions and tonight's topic is about, this is appropriate, it's about channeling. So questions and answers uh, to your questions about what this thing is we call channeling, which I'm happy to answer. And um, there are no wrong questions, so if you uh, don't hear something on here, you're really curious about it and you want to know a little bit more about what this is and maybe how you can improve your own channeling, then go ahead and type something in and I'll see if, if I can catch it and go ahead and answer your questions. But I want to I tackle something that someone sent in a little bit earlier about I'm new to all of this. Can anyone channel? I'm really glad that someone just came right out and asked that. Well, we all channel all the time. It's just that we don't call it channeling. We call it other things. And yes, to answer your question, so you channel when you're driving and suddenly you arrive to where you wanted to go, but you don't really know how you got there. You are kind of zoned out, spaced out, uh, spacing out, zoning out, and being in the zone for athletes, you're in the runner's zone, you know. Uh, those are all forms of channeling when you're singing, when you're playing an instrument, when you're really, really in your space and time seems to apparently stop, or time as we know it, and you feel like you're flying free. Also, in our sleep, you know, we, we channel in that way too. Um, so whenever you feel like you're really, uh, you're on a roll, we hear these phrases, on a roll, you know, I'm really feeling alive, awake, energized. Uh, you're in your element, you're doing something you love, and you could just do this all day. Then that is a form of channeling. And it's also um, hyper-focus, hyper-concentration. Uh, and so we do these things naturally and we just call them different things but yeah everyone can uh, can channel and certainly it's a skill that as you develop and as you go along you get better and better at it and you have many uses for it a lot of people think this channeling stuff it's all for entertainment and uh, and fun and and it is it's fun it's entertaining and you can also though use channeling for very practical purposes such as goal achievement financial achievement um, you know, setting academic goals for yourself, achieving those things, um, and for relationships, manifesting on any level. Channeling is just like this great life skill. And as we work the muscle, uh, build our channeling skills, then, then we're able to develop it. And with, of course, practice and a good coach, then you're well on your way. Another question uh, someone wrote in is, um, how can I feel my guides? Mm -hmm. Well, for that, I, I mean, you're asking a feeling question, so I'd like to answer with the feeling answer. So why don't we just dive right into this? We'll just get really, really intentional right now, and everyone, you can close your eyes with me and bring yourself center. Okay, so bring yourself back to the breath. Let's come right back to right this moment, sit in your chair, sit on your bed, and let's Narrow our focus, narrow your focus to this moment, just this moment. Let everything else fall away and let's just breathe. Feel your heartbeat. Try and see if, if you can feel your heartbeat, you can feel the air coming in and out of the body. Just glide with that. And if thoughts come in, because you know they will, thoughts will come, let them come. Let them come. Recognize the thought, let it go, and come back to your breath. So we can have the thoughts, but we don't have to follow the thoughts. And back to the breath. Okay, and when you're ready, you can come back and open the eyes. Let the eyes open. 
So when we feel our guides, it feels like that. That stillness, even if it was just like a second that you were able to connect with your breath and let those thoughts go, even if it was just a second of that, that space is exactly where your guides reside because guides are in now time. They're in the only time that there is, which is now. And that, that could also be described as peace when you're in the zone. Okay, so, so you're, you're moving your body, you're feeling great, you know, you're doing something that you love, and you feel this indescribable, we're talking about something we can't really describe, but this indescribable peace, that's where your guides reside. That's how you feel them. You begin to feel them, I should say, because this is also something that's developed through time. If you really want to feel your guides um, right now, then I would suggest starting with that breath meditation and just go back to it again and again. I mean, within all of us, we have truly this oasis where we can break away from thought, from all of the stuff in the head, and we can bring it right here. You know, and this is not fluffery. This is real. We can actually bring our attention and our intention to our heartbeat, our breath. And we can come back to this current moment. As you do this repetitively throughout your day, you do it for a week, a couple weeks, you start to build a practice for yourself, you will start to perceive those beings of light around you. So just keep it up. Um, you know, the mind likes to interfere and, and kind of come up with reasons why uh, you can't feel your guides or, you know, stories. There's a lot of stories that ego will come up with to try to interject on your connection with your guides. You can just let all that stuff go and experiment with this, with how it feels. Everyone feels their guides differently, and you'll get to, to know them as you build a, a close relationship with them. So um, question three. I like this one. This is someone who emailed me um, wanting to know, when you channel, how do you know that it's not just your imagination? That's a good question. I mean, how do you know that you're here right now? Mm-hmm. So well, I want to answer that in a very direct way. When you know something and you just know it to be true for you, you're going to know. It's like when you know when you're in love and no one else is going to be able to, to talk you out of that or, or convince you. And you can't really describe that feeling, but you just know. That's your intuition. That's the knowing. As you get more um, practiced with channeling, then you're going to know um, the difference between your ego mind, the chatterbox that's in the head, and, and the voice of your guides. I have a great course, actually. It's on Othella.org. It's totally free. You guys can go and download it, uh, Othella.org, and sign up for it. The first part of the course is completely free, and it's very extensive. It's got a lot of information in there. It's a power-packed course, a crash course, really. For, for anyone who wants to learn how to connect to their guides and how to feel them and how to learn and distinguish the difference between what's going on up here in the head and all the stories and all of that and the heart center, the heart space, the oneness, feeling your guides. And so as you begin, you take a course like that, right? You're sending a signal out to you opportunities will arise in your experience for you to learn. Um, I mean, I certainly, I, I didn't know anything about this stuff. Before I came to meet Othella, I, I didn't know what channeling was or anything. But I decided I wanted to learn, and through through my guidance, through, through Othella, and just through taking these opportunities, I learned to find that off button in my mind and then learn how to distinguish my guides and, and Othella from my own imagination. And so, and, and hundreds of other people have done it as well. It, it's really just a matter of practice and 
anyone can do this. You know, kids do it. And, um, and so, so just keep it up and keep the intention high. If you really want to connect in a spiritual way to your guides, if you want to have that strong bond for the rest of your life and use it, not just for parties, but for, you know, developing relationships, uh, improving the quality of your life, then, yeah, you know, I, I would strongly recommend that you, you put the intention out there. Take this course. It's really cool. It's, it's called How to Channel and learn how to channel with Othella, and um, you can download it for free, as I said, at othella.org. And um, what else? Ah, I have one right here, too. So how do I know, this person asks, how do I know that it's Othella that I'm connecting to and not someone else, like, like Elvis, you know? Well, when I first met Othella, so she, she and I worked out kind of a deal where I would be doing a certain series of, of steps, certain like one, two, three kind of thing, and then I'd be giving her a high five so that I would know it's her, kind of like a signature, like a calling card. When you get really proficient with working with your guides, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna have a little something that it's like a check-in, you know? You got your ID badge right there, and you check in and make sure that this is actually the, uh, the, the guide that you wanna connect with or connect to. And that all comes with, once again, practice. So as a, a sign off here, I wanna give, I wanna give you guys a, a, little, a little taste of um, just a primer um, because I, I'll be doing some channeling. We'll be doing more live streamings more and more. So I'll be doing some channeling at our next live streaming. Um, but I wanna give you guys a, a little something, a little, little mini toolkit for preparing yourself for sleep Channeling uh, while you sleep is a really cool way to relax your body, heal your body during your sleep. It's a great way to do astral traveling if you wanna, you wanna go fly around for a little while. And um, just to be open, just to say I'm open to guidance, to receiving guidance from my guides while I sleep. So all those problems of the day, you know what they have? They have solutions, those, those problems the opposite of those things are solutions. And so you can literally draw those into you with uh, this, this very creative exercise we're about to do here. So I want you to find yourself in a comfortable position, comfortable enough so that you can close your eyes, find some privacy, maybe move some furniture around, just feel at ease. And there's nothing more here to do but just to feel your body. I want you to Take in a deep breath, and as you do, close the eyes. And let's just release that breath. Let's take in another intentional breath, and then as we do, we're gonna hold it at the top for a second. Good, and then as you release that out, just let everything go. This third breath, I want you to breathe in light. Pick a color, any color, breathe it in through the nose. Okay, mine was purple. And then exhale that same color. And then let your body just be as it is. Just feel the body and be with the breath. You don't have to change the breath. There's nothing to change or manipulate here. You can just observe and watch it as it is. And I want you to visualize yourself laying down, getting ready to fall asleep. You're getting ready for bed. Maybe you have a little routine. Maybe you put the pillows a certain way. Just see yourself on the outside of yourself getting into bed. And you're going to pull the covers up. You're getting nice and comfortable and cozy. And I want you to just bring your attention back to the breath. So you're aware of your breath as you're getting ready to rest. The body's just naturally relaxing, letting go. And you're starting to feel a little sleepy. So that place, we're looking for that place just before, I'm talking just seconds before you dip down into a brainwave that is sleep wave. 
just before you drift off to sleep. You know that sleepy feeling. It's kind of daisy and foggy in there. You're letting go of thoughts. And your body's just resting. I want you to see yourself there. Maybe there's even a, a smile on your face. Your face is really comfortable. The eyelids are heavy. Your shoulders are relaxed. Now from your head all the way down to your toes, I want you to run a current of light. Let's use a white light this time. Take that white light and just run a current all the way down into your heart, all the way down through the organs, down the back, all the way down your hands. Just cover your whole upper torso, moving down all through the legs. Every cell, every inch of you is filled up now with this healing white light, radiant light, down the knees, into the ankles, into the feet. So you can literally see a beaming light coming from the body. And when you have that image, when you've got it crystal clear in your mind, I want you to see just atop of your head, just a few inches above your head, okay, you have a few beams of light there. And those are your guides. We could call those your guides. And I want you to just ask them for any kind of guidance that you might need. Maybe there's a problem that needs resolution. You can think of a few things. Perhaps it's healing of the body. Maybe it's just eight hours of sleep, just full sound sleep without interruption, waking up refreshed, revitalized. Set the intention that you'd like guidance, that you would like support and healing from your guides. So take these intentions, go ahead and offer them up to these beings of light that are just above your head, beautiful light energy. And once you feel like you've done that, and then you go ahead and see yourself drifting off into sleep and letting go. Just relax the body. Taking your time now and leaning forward a bit. And when you're ready, come full front and center back into this room, hearing my voice. And then when you're ready, you can open the eyes gently, just allowing the eyelids to just gently open coming back into the room. So what happened just then is you went ahead into future for this evening and you sent love ahead, ahead of you, into your sleep, asking and setting the intention to receive, to receive guidance, to receive love and support, healing throughout your, your sleeping time. So you're opening up those channels you're opening up the channel to receive. That didn't even take five minutes. What a powerful exercise that is. So I want to ask all of you to, to, to take that exercise, you know, use it, use it every night, and then connect with me in a week or so. Tell me how your sleep is going. And you'll find that phenomenal things happen when you just do that little small exercise. You get quiet, you get still and you ask, you actually got to ask and set that intention. Also, what we did with the white light, by the way, is, is a cleansing, it's a clearing, and you're going to sleep. You're actually smothering yourself with this white light as you go to sleep, because of course, whatever we look at, see, feel, touch, as we're drifting off to sleep, we're gonna take with us. So it's better uh, for everyone. If you don't read the news, don't, don't watch any kind of violent things before you go to bed, even movies and stuff like that. You know, just get all that stuff, get all that garbage out. Go to sleep with a nice blanket of light with your guides and uh, beautiful channeling that can happen. I want to thank everybody for being here tonight. This has been a real delight for me. I'm really happy to share this and many more to come, of course. So this is our first kind of, um, uh, you know, first, first leap into the live streaming world. So I love your feedback. 
Love, love the questions. Thank you so much for everyone who, who wrote and um, who had some really great questions. And for um, our next live streaming, we'll be hearing from our CEO, our sponsor, Othella. And I look forward to it. With honor, humility, I look forward to seeing you guys uh, soon. And blissful, peaceful dreams. Until next time, bye for now.